Sup lads and gents, Parkour Sean 69 or just Sean here. And um, today I got some really interesting gameplay with some really interesting commentary over the top of it. So I think this is going to be one of my one of my better videos. Um, it's going to be a 123 kill uh, gameplay, and this is on Black Ops. Um, I thought this was also appropriate because. Uh, you know, Black Ops 2 is coming out soon, I'm talking about Black Ops 2, all the info's here for that, so, um, you know, Black Ops gameplay in the background I thought was suitable, and, um, yeah, this is in Demolition, and I'll be using the Org Silenced, I uh, remember what it feels like to have, uh, have a good chance with weapons, not just getting owned every single second in one, in one bullet, like in Modern Warfare 3, you got a chance to fight for yourself, I remember that feeling, so, uh, I'm back to this. It's a it's a good reminder. I used to play this game a lot, and it just brings me back to the days. Anyways, enough about Black Ops One and a bit about Black Ops Two. I got heaps of linked information. Uh, I know this is a bit old. I've had this uh, this writing held down for about two weeks now, so there might. Well, I took a look, and I, I haven't found any more new information about um, Black Ops Two. So I'm just going to give you what I know. Um, it's going to be about 18 minutes or something ridiculous like that, which is. Um, which is literally all the information will fit in the time of this gameplay, so it's a lot of info and uh, pretty long gameplay as well, but I hope you guys enjoy this. Um, first I'll start with the most basic information, so that's basically, it's already confirmed this information here, but we'll get into like the deep stuff soon. Um, so basically it's going to be out this year, November 6th, so that's almost a definite, um, that could be changed due to like building errors or like manufacturing problems or something but um, basically that is the date um, which is good that that's this year I cannot stand Mono Fair 3 for much longer uh, so that's good that it's coming out this year uh, also zombies is most likely to make a return it's almost a definite because uh, many people have claimed they've heard leaked info about zombies being included in Black Ops 2 so it seems hopeful for all the zombies fans there there's almost an equal amount of online players as zombie players, so um, it's a huge part of Black Ops 1 and could be a vital part for Black Ops 2's success. Um, Black Ops 2 will be a direct sequel to Black Ops 1, sort of follow exactly on the storyline as, um, as what Black Ops 1 had, which I think is a good idea instead of jumping back and forward in time. It's good that they kept it, kept it like that. I, I like it like that. So we won't, we won't go back in time or some shit like that. We'll just continue the story. So that's good for people who like the storyline, which I know I did. Um, there was rumors it was going to call Black o um, called Call of Duty Iron Wolf or whatever, but um, it's it, it's being confirmed. Treyarch confirmed that it's officially going to be called Black Ops 2. Um, they did take down a couple of names. Um, the uh, Infinity Ward, who uh, is the official owner of uh, all the Call of Duty uh, franchise, uh, they took down a couple of names, uh, they, like, so they, they bought these names for copyright, they got uh, like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 4, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 5, COD 4, COD 5, they took all those names under copyright, as well as um, Black Ops 2, Black Ops 3, Black Ops 4, etc. So we know it's going to be, um, we know it's going to be following the Black Ops uh, line, it's not going to be called Iron Wolf or some crap like that, so that's good. Um, it will be released at 70 pounds, which I did this on my calculator. I believe it's about 107 bucks in Aussie, but um, prices are different between countries, so that's not sure. But it'll probably be, just be the normal retail price. Um, it said that when it was posted on Amazon, which uh, there was a screenshot taken of, it was uh, posted as uh, 70 bucks. So that's that. Uh, 70 pounds. Yeah. There's no weapon information yet, but no doubt it will be similar, fairly similar to uh, Black Ops 1. They will bring back a lot of the same weapons, but not like Modern Warfare 3, I don't think so. And damn, I'm a champion. Look at that double kill. Um, there's this guy. Well, I'm going to get into the deeper stuff now, and I'm going to tell you uh, where this information has come from. Because basically there's this guy called MP First or MP1ST. I don't know how you say him. I, I'm very new to him. Um, for any of you who have heard of him before... Uh, he believes he has seen some information on a closed thread in Black Ops forums. So, ooh, very secret, secret. No one really knows if it's true or not. Um, he does warn that, quote, unquote, as it is always with leaks of this kind, please bear in mind that this is only a rumor and should be taken with a grain of salt. 
So this doesn't mean, oh, everything's a lie, I'm just bullcrapping to you, this is all, this is all just a joke. It's just saying, not everything is confirmed, but um, a lot of these things are legit. And the fact that, um, that uh, Treyarch or whatever took it down off the site and closed down the site is another very good sign to uh, show that uh, a lot of this information could be legit. Or else why would they care? Uh, anyways, uh, we cannot be sure if this is true, but a lot of the rumors do sound really legit, and they are like a lot of them are really plausible. So, um, ma well, mainly it's just interesting to speculate about the game and just throw around ideas. But there is a high likely possibility that some of these rumors are true. I'm just putting it out there that um, this could, this is not 100% sure. I'm just making sure you guys understand that. So uh, I'll basically be reading off what he has written down, um, start to finish, and uh, take you through these news. Alright, let's get started with the game modes. Uh, a new game type has been brought in called Escort, which it looks pretty cool. It says it'll be following a search and destroy style of gameplay, with like, you know, like one life each round and so on. Um, basically, you have to escort a chosen player. Um, if you will, and move them to, I think it's one of three different locations, not all three locations. I think that's what it says. So, um, yeah, this sounds interesting and creative, not just following, like, all the high game kill situations which they bring in. They bring in some more, you know, more tactical stuff. Um, Drop Zone and Kill Confirmed will be making a big return, but without their buddy, Team Defender, which, uh, that clearly hasn't been given enough love, so not shocked by that, but, um, a real shock to me is that um, Infected will not be making a comeback. They've completely taken that out of the game. Don't know why. It was one of the highest requested game modes. And to hear it's not being brought back is like, that's a staggering piece of info to me. But in the end, it's Treyarch's decision, or so whatever they think is appropriate. Um, moving on to point streaks. I'm just going to point out the most important ones because there's so many notes about the point streaks. Uh, it will follow Modern Warfare 3's system, completely scrap what they had in Black Ops 1, so kind of the newer system. Uh, there's a much larger emphasis on objective gameplay, uh, that's shown throughout bomb plants being worth 2 points, neutral flags being worth 1 point, enemy flags are worth 2 points as well, so, um, and a flag a cap, flag cap assist. So, um, I think that's when you're, like, only part of capturing the flag, while the person who's first on the clag flag is is the full cap capper. I don't know how you want to say it. But yeah, if you only have a flag cap assist, you only get one point streak. Alright, so, uh, specialist point streak will be returning, but it's, like, seriously, drastically modified, man. It's hectically modified. Um, two kills will get you one perk. Four kills will get you two perks, the sixth kill will get you three more perks, and the eighth kill gets you four more perks. Okay, so um, I think this might mean it could be a little bit overpowered in some sense, but uh, better than people just like kill whoring or whatever, so I think it's good. So um, but kind of to even this imbalance out, unlike in Modern Warfare 3, you don't unlock every perk in the game at eight kills. It's just the, one that you, the ones that you selected, so that's a lot more personalization, which I like that, but not having all of the perks, that's kind of, you don't feel like a super human one-man army, but uh, no, it's, st it's still good. Uh, so, and you won't be getting the pro version of the perk unless you actually have it unlocked. So that's different from Modern Warfare 3 as well. So that's different. Um, RCXD as a, as a kill streak will not be returning, which is good because they annoy the hell out of me. Um, there's this new kill streak where apparently you can get like heat vision or infrared vision, I don't know what you want to call it. And um, you can see through walls or some trippy shit like that, man. It'll be so hectic, it could be really cool. Uh, basically, your player just pulls out an attachment for your weapon, and from then on, you just see wall through walls or whatever it's going to be. I'm not sure what it is. Um, just a quick note it can only be attached to primary weapons. Except shotguns. I, that's pretty random, but whatever. Doesn't really seem like it would do much on a shotgun anyway, because you can't shoot very long distance. Um, there will be fake airdrop packages again, which is gay. I don't like it. But um, there is another five point street care package that contains like random stuff, including ammo, minigun, grenade launcher, rocket launcher, and body armor. 
So when I see grenade launcher and rocket launcher as a point streak, that makes me consider that it might not be, not not might not be an able to be a normal weapon in this game. It might be point streak only. But uh, maybe this is I have no idea why why that's in there. So that sounds promising. Uh, if there's no noob tubes or people running around with rocket launchers and silly stuff like that. So um. Well, well, there's something really interesting to hear about prestiging. This is probably some of the most inf um, cool information I think is on this. Um, basically, in one sentence, I'll try this. There will be 50 ranks with 15 prestiges, and every second time you prestige, the level you have to reach increases by 5. Okay, <laughs> that was a bit of an information overload. But you, like, this means, like, by the time you're at 15th prestige, there's 90 levels you have to go through. So, I hope you guys understand that. It's like, every second time you prestige, you have to level up five more times than you did the last time. That's as basic as I can put it. If you don't get it, I don't know, r listen to it again, rewind it, write it down, I don't know. It's not that hard, but whatever. Um, they're going to be bringing in Elite 2.0. So, uh... It's, it's like a newer version of Elite, as you can tell by 2.0. And um, so this unfortunately means that Black Ops 2 doesn't come in with like your built-in combat record and everything. It's uh, only Elite members getting this so-called Elite stats. So uh, people with Elite will have access to uh, clan battle lobbies and tournaments and, like, and stuff like that. Which I'll be getting Elite, so that's good for me. But if you're not getting Elite, haha, you're going to have a terrible time on Black Ops 2. Everything's going to be excluded from you. You're going to spend a lot of money on a game that gives you only half the stuff. So I think it's kind of more of a money-making idea. I think instead of buying all the DLC packs and doing all stuff like that, yeah, I'm just going to get uh, Elite just straight up. I think that would be the best way to go for anyone who wants that. And um, people oh yeah, uh, going down to removed items, so what they've taken out of the game... Um, Again, unfortunately, and hold your breaths, lads and gents, the MOB or Nuke will not be returning in the game. Uh, I don't understand why, but uh, hopefully that rumor is false. If anything's false, I want that to be false. Um, everything else sounds cool, but that is gay. Um, that's terrible. Um, the MOB gets you, like, gets you motivated to play the game, I guess. I don't know. I, I wouldn't know what to do without a nuke in Black Ops 2. I've grown so used to it with um, trying to get mobs in Modern Warfare 3, so that's a bit weird that they didn't have that in, but whatever, it's their choice again. And um, thank God, finally, Last Stand and Death Streaks have been removed. But you know, <laughs> you, you know what they said last time, bloody 402, whatever his name is, that guy who made his speech. He's like, and finally, no more last stand. F you last stand. You know, he got like really mad about it. Neck minute. Ooh, whoa, computer lag, sorry. And then neck minute, bloody freaking last stand everywhere, death streaks, all this crap. So, um, well, I hope this time they mean that there's no last stand. Um, last stand's the worst perk in the entire world ever invented. It's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It's not good for anyone but noobs who don't know how to play the game. So, um,. It's good that if they don't have it in. Um, also, just randomly, the flamethrower that they had in Black Ops 1 has been removed. I don't know why they would do that. It's not really overused, so whatever. Um, the map sizes will follow Black Ops, so nothing like Modern Warfare 3. I thought they'd make like a change up and so you stop following the lines of Black Ops or stop following the lines of Modern Warfare 3, but they've only stopped following the lines of Black Modern Warfare 3 and gone to what they did in Black Ops 1. So they haven't really changed anything, nothing's really new, it's just what they did ages ago. So I wish they would kind of change it up a bit, but um, I prefer the Black Ops maps anyway, so that's good to hear. More vibrant and colourful maps, I reckon. Modern Warfare 3 is just dull and gay, so whatever. Uh, sniper rifles, I wish there was more information on, like, uh, Quick scoping and everything, and by the way, that's like my second or third pair of dogs, which is I'm stoked about that. Um, yeah, um, I wish there was more information on quick scoping and everything like that. That'd be so cool, but um, there's not. All it says about quick scoping, I mean, uh, all it says about snipers is there will be increased sniper usage. So hopefully that means there's more snipers in the game. 
more to choose from or something. Uh, with less sway but no aim assist. That kind of sounds hopeful towards quick scoping. I think that means uh, quick scoping will be back, but it won't be so overpowered if that's what you want to call it. Look at my dogs go to work. Good work, puppies. And uh, the appearance of your uh, character. If you guys remember in Black Ops 1, the first perk you decided was what your character looked like. Um, but apparently now the appearance will be like a combination of all the perks together. So like 1, 2, and 3. Um, so that sounds, that sounds cool. It's a bit different. It's not just like the same people running around the map. It'll be different, which I think is cool. And uh, something here for you hardcore players, um, like the hardcore game modes, not like you players who play all the time, but hardcore mode players, um, it has become more hardcore, I guess you could say. Um, like, if you're really hurt, you won't stay on that level of pain, like you don't, won't stay on that red screen. You will actually slowly bleed out and die, which is so hectic. Um, there's no grenade launches, and only vehicle lock launches are allowed in hardcore, so that's cool. Um, one shot in the foot isn't a kill, which I think is referring to snipers. Um, it has to be chest or head, or upper thighs, I think, something like that. Um, a positive about this is that um, respawning has been reduced. Respawning time, like, the, you know, you die and it takes like 10 seconds to respawn. Well, they've reduced that time. So that's good because I hate. If it's hardcore, I don't get why they have to make a time limit for your respawn. So it's good that they they dim that down a little bit, which is good. Okay, and here's some really cool perk info. Um, apparently, there will be no longer only one pro version of a perk. There will be two. So this means that you have a choice of what your perk is upgraded to. Um, a negative is that once you have chosen one of the two perks, you can't go back until the next prestige. You know what I'm saying? So, um, here's an example. Um, with the perk Speed, which has been released for Black Ops 2, um, Pro Perk 1 for Speed is Swaps Weapons Faster. Pro Perk 2 for Speed is Throws Equipment Faster. So this could be frustrating, and I kind of see to make a decision, but uh, it does matter. Uh, I mean, it does make a lot more user-friendly, so I guess that's kind of good. Um, there's some final information about combat training here. Combat training will be returning, but uh, it'll be better, more advanced, I guess you could say. Um, the bots are more advanced and follow similar AI from Modern Warfare 3. Um, and uh, finally, the difficulty is not judged on, like, the bots shooting and reaction time, you know, like, they'd see you, they'd stop, they'd look at you, and then they'd shoot. Um, that reaction time is uh, based on what difficulty you chose, it won't be that anymore. It'll be following, like, um, the Modern Warfare 3 AI from, like, uh, Spec Ops and everything, it'll be closer to that, which is cool. And, um, so that's four pages of, like, Black Ops 2 information right there. Um, as I said before, not all of it's going to be true, and um, at, he at this point in the gameplay, I'm 112 kills, 113, and um, my chopper gunners didn't really do um, that much for me, I got like two kills in the last one, I don't even think I, oh, I might get one kill in this one, my dogs do all the work, and then I just get shot down, so, um, oh, yep, there's one kill. So the game's wrapping up to an end, um, what do I finish with, 123 kills, to 25 deaths, yeah, 25 deaths, so that's a pretty decent effort, and um, I hope you guys enjoyed the information, hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay, and drop us a like, um, drop us a like on the video, just a friendly rating or comment, and uh, tell me what topi topics you'd like to see, uh, see me talk about next, so thanks for watching this gameplay, I'll be uploading heaps soon, and uh, tune into my channel to see more, thanks guys, thanks for watching. 25, 23 to 25.